Hello and welcome to another video of me doing stuff to a shitty old BMW. Now, what we have here is a 340mm disc, 30mm diameter off an F30 335i with the, I don't know what they call it, M technology brake sport pack fucking whatever which comes with these calipers now there's a company in the u.s called angry ass that do a kit for this which is basically a bolt for each year obviously and for the other side and a spacer that sits between this and the year that is on what's it called uh, the knuckle now I refuse to spend 200 quid on four spacers and four bolts because they're 10.9 M12 by 125. 55, I believe. If you look on their spec sheet, they're 55s. Now, the spacers are made out of 66, 61 aluminium. There's no specs for them. However, it doesn't take a genius too long. To work out that that pad there is 30 mil because you can measure it the bolt is obviously 12 mil so the hole in the middle of it needs to be 12 12 mil 30 mil maximum diameter the biggest question is what is the distance between this face and the face on a knuckle to space that so that the center of the disc lines up perfectly because obviously you'll have minor offset depending on where it is now apparently the reason i bought these is apparently these bolt up straight away the offset between say not the offset sorry the distance between these holes um is identical to the e34 5 series if that's the case perfect just need to worry about spaces if it isn't i've bought these for no reason i'm gonna have to send them back Bit of a pain in the ass, but this disc is absolutely massive. If I stick these together, look at that. Apparently, these just about fit under 18, uh, 17s. 17s? 18s. I don't even know what I've got on it. Can't remember. That's not good, is it? Anyway, I jack the car up, get the wheel off. And I'll just disconnect the, the caliper and carrier. Just pop that off, take the disc off, and we'll get this mounted. Then we'll have a measure up, see what it's like. So, go from there. That's one side taken apart, which I only need to do. Look at the size difference. God damn. Let's get that bolted up, see what it looks like. Look at that. That is. Absolutely ridiculous. Doesn't look very big in camera. I think mean, it's because we've got wide angle lens. But they are fucking massive. Now, if we look over the back, can't really see very well. Let's give that a wiggle. So, there's a bolt here. Oh. Flash would be better. Hold up. Right, so if we see here, this here, we've got basically, I'll measure that space in. Well, you can see that well so we'll measure this once we've got the caliper square on the disc basically so I've squared this square the caliper up on the disc and then measure that gap make a spacer to match so pretty simple we'll be back in a minute with an actual measurement so you can do it at home too. It is a top tip for people. If you want to centre something between two things, use wedges. Obviously, the same wedges. And then, these are fence post. Got wedges, and then you just... Give it a tap. Double check it. With tape measure. And, um... Job's carrot. Bang on centre. Which means now, I can measure this. You can't see shit. On the ear here. 
I'm getting exact measurement. How good is that? Right, so I've measured it down here. Now it's quite a pain in the ass to get that bit. So I measured from there all the way to the face of the caliper here and then subtracted the thickness of this. So, and now I come up with 7.5 mil as a spacer. So, the next bit of the video will be me making some spacers. So, see how that goes. Right, so I've just put the wheel on to check fitment and there's fucking zero. So I'm gonna need to purchase some spacers. Other than that, it looks kinda cool. So, lump of aluminium that we've used to make our um, spacers. And then these need cleaning up, but got these these bad boys made up. So, give them a little clean up, some emery, and then um, we'll stick them on the, um, on the BMW, on the caliper, and then uh, we'll see how that goes. Hopefully, if my measurements are correct, they'll line up perfectly and uh, we'll have a big break here.